Today feels like momentum. Um, you, you can feel it. And uh, as I look at the people who are behind me, I want to thank uh, State Representative Mike Kushmerick, Mayor Dina Talley, our Congresswoman uh, Lori Trahan, President Lapidus. If you take out one of these people, we're not here today. Uh, so today is truly, in every sense of the word, a team effort uh, that multiple people had to make sure we're making the investments in Fitchburg uh, and our downtowns to move Fitchburg forward. Um, this $3 million that myself and uh, Michael Kushmerick were able to secure uh, in the state legislature in December is going to have a huge impact and is really a, a down payment to revitalize the theater block and make sure that its best days are ahead of it. And I'll start by, by thanking Mayor Dina Talley uh, for uh, the investment in downtown, which everybody saw. And I, I truly believe if the city did not say downtown is a place to invest, it's a place we're going to continue to come to work, to play. Um, the mayor's vision for arts, culture, and tourism started with the city hall. And we're not here uh, to celebrate this or th the next project without Mayor Dina Talley's vision and commitment to our Main Street. Uh, second, I want to thank Congresswoman Lori Trahan. Uh, the American Rescue Plan has provided transformational resources to everybody across the Commonwealth. And I know she'll talk more about that, but Fitchburg alone received more than $30 million in unrestricted aid as a part of the American Rescue Plan. In the state legislature, we received more than $5 billion uh, to stabilize our health care system, to make transformational investments in behavioral health, and to make investments in our downtown in Fitchburg like we're here to celebrate today. And, and finally, I want to thank uh, President Lapidus and Fitchburg State University for his leadership and making sure that Fitchburg State is outward looking. Uh, and the shared belief and vision that as goes Fitchburg State, goes this city and goes the city of Fitchburg. Um, so without further ado, it's my privilege today uh, to introduce the lady of the hour and who we owe this opportunity to fight for Fitchburg for, uh, Congresswoman Lori Trahan. Thank you. Well, good morning uh, and thank you, Senator Cronin for that very kind introduction, the lady of the hour. I assure you that'll be the last time I'm introduced that way today. Uh, but I want to thank my colleagues in, uh, in state and local government. So many of you in front of me, all of you uh, behind me. Uh, the continued partnership advocating and supporting our constituents, tackling important issues for our communities is what it's all about. And that's what you see on display here today. Look, last March, I proudly was in position uh, to vote in favor for the American Rescue Plan, not only because it got so much needed relief uh, to working families and small businesses struggling to make ends meet, but because Congress desperately needed to provide our local communities funding to revitalize and strengthen their economies, many of which continue to struggle due to the soaring costs of the pandemic. Over the last year, the Biden administration, state legislatures, local communities, they've worked together to distribute $1.9 trillion in funding from ARPA throughout the country. That is a historic amount of money. Today, I'm so excited to join my colleagues in announcing this $3 million in funds uh, from the American Rescue Plan that will be used to help renovate and reinvigorate Fitchburg's historic theater block. Thanks to Senator Cronin and Representative Kushmerick for securing this earmark. These funds will continue to work to revitalize Main Street in downtown Fitchburg. Uh, it is hard to believe, but the theater block was closed uh, more than 30 years before Fitchburg State uh, University purchased it with the idea of creating a performance arts center. And upon completion, this theater will hold 1,200 seats and serve as a cultural center here in Fitchburg. This is in addition to the already completed FSU game studio, uh, as well as the Idea Lab, which serves as an important resource for our local entrepreneurs. Overall, it's estimated that revitalizing the theater will create 38, 33 permanent jobs, 120 construction jobs, along with generating 20 uh, $2.8 million in new annual sales. This is precisely the type of economic development uh, and economic revitalization that Congress had in mind when we passed ARPA last year. 
and I'm pleased to report that this is far from the last investment that Fitchburg will receive. In fact, to date, as Senator Cronin mentioned, the city's received $31.2 million in ARPA funding for a range of topics, and even more funds are on the way uh, to Fitchburg which th they can expect to see significant funding from the bipartisan infrastructure law as well. So whether it's fixing our bridges and roads, uh, improving our water infrastructure, increasing and modernize access and modernizing public transportation options, millions more in funding will be invested here in Fitchburg to make the lives of everyone who call this great city home better. So I look forward to working with everyone here today to make sure that the impact of those funds are maximized, just like we were able to do today to achieve uh, the investment in the in the theater block. There, uh, so I have the uh, I have the honor of introducing uh, the mayor, and I have to say, there's no cooler part of my job uh, than to. Uh, work on the partnerships that actually deliver, uh, deliver to families, deliver to communities that work on economic development. I'm so blessed that I've got, you know, Senator Cronin, uh, Representative Kushmerik, certainly President La Lapidus, who has taken such an active role in the community's revitalization. And it's such an asset when you have a college campus in the heart of a city, one that's willing to expand into the downtown. But I got to tell you, the leadership of Mayor Di Natale has been unmatched in terms of picking up the phone and calling me to making sh make sure I'm not forgetting about the dismal uh, commute in, uh, in Fitchburg, going over bridges and, and traveling roads, making sure that I understand the importance that the airport has on economic development, making sure I understand the investment he's made in the downtown and that that's going to continue uh, right down Main Street. These partnerships are what, when everyone's rowing in the same direction, that is what makes communities thrive. And so it is my honor not only to work with them every day, but also to be able to introduce them right now, Mayor Di Natale. Thank you, Representative. Good morning, Congresswoman Trahan, Senator Cronin, Representative Kushmerik, President Lapidus and Vice President uh, Bry, City of Fitchburg is committed to our downtown. Nowhere is that more apparent, of course, than across from where we are today at City Hall. The City Hall renovation was our stake in the ground. Our market signaled to show that we are here for the long haul. But we also know that this is not enough, that we must continue to invest in our downtown and in the partnership that will make our vision a reality. And that's what brings us here today. Since I've taken office, Fitchburg has built an incredible local public-private partnership based on mutual trust, respect, and a shared vision. At its core, the partnership starts with the city and Fitchburg State University and the two buildings that sit across the street from one another. But this partnership has grown stronger in recent years and in no small part due to our state and federal delegation. We have always had great support at the State House, and between Senator Cronin and Representative Kushmerik, we have a team with an unrivaled commitment to our vision in this city. And the same could be said at the federal level. We wouldn't be here without the support of Congresswoman Trahan and these ARPA dollars. I'm proud to say that as a result of ARPA, the $3 million investment here today is just one of many to help us build towards making downtown Fitchburg, North Central's hub of arts and culture. I'm proud to announce that next month, my administration will be submitting a budget to spend the first $15 million of our $31 million ARPA allocation. That allocation includes investments in public health, infrastructure, and economic development. Most importantly, it includes over $11 million of investment in our downtown, including infrastructure, the public library, the Fitchburg Arts community, indeed, the theater block district itself. The city will be investing 475,000 of its ARPA funds in these buildings to help activate the storefronts we see here today. We are able to make these investments because we have the support of the people that are here today. We are investing in our future because we know we are go going to go get to where we want to be because we are doing it together as a team. 
I also want to take this opportunity to thank Tom Skorowski for the efforts that he puts forward each and every day in the city of Fitchburg. The things that you're seeing happening here, City Hall, the legislative building, some of the projects that I just mentioned are due to that, that young man's uh, efforts, and we thank him. Thanks, everyone. And now, without further ado, one of our greatest partners in the city, along with Senator Cronin, Representative Michael Kushmerick. Good morning, everyone. And I, I don't think it should go without noting that the mayor took the podium and the sun started shining. So I, I'm hoping I can work on that skill set here. You know, I, I think today culminates a decade-long effort uh, to, to create an innovation economy uh, in our downtown, to foster and grow creative arts uh, and economy right here in Fitchburg and in North Central Massachusetts. And I think you heard it a lot today, the word team. And I think that's truly what it is. And it starts uh, at the highest level with our, with our federal partners uh, in Washington. And I truly believe there is no better partner that we have than Congresswoman Lori Trahan, who is here uh, seemingly every week. Uh, and and I, I speak, you know, uh, I speak with peers across, uh, not only across the region, uh, who acknowledge that she is everywhere at all times, uh, and she's ever present in our district, making sure that Washington is working right here for North Central Massachusetts. Uh, but I think we have the best uh, federal delegation, uh, really, uh, throughout the throughout the entire country, uh, and that's no small effort uh, to the work that she puts in, uh, and Senator Cronin uh, really taking the lead and driving uh, this this earmark in the legislature. This doesn't happen without him, uh, and certainly uh, Mayor Di Natale, who's had this vision uh, since he took office of uh, of reinvesting and revitalizing Main Street, and I think that's why we're here today. It's been decades of fits and starts, and of these moments of are we going to bring back what was great about our downtown? And are we going to bring back a vibrant um, and business-friendly Main Street? Uh, and it's taken decades to get to this point, and here we are. Uh, this is the point of no return. Uh, it starts at Morin Square, and it goes up uh, to the Upper Commons. Uh, and everywhere you look, there is growth, and new buildings coming alive, historic preservation, uh, and that's no small part because when the private sector started investing down here and when people started looking at interest, the city said, if you invest here, we will invest here. Your investment will not be made alone. We will match your investment. And we see it right here, right across the street. This is one of the most historic buildings in Fitchburg. Um, this was uh, a vestige of the Gilded Age of what Fitchburg once was. Uh, and because of Fitchburg State University and their vision, uh, in their commitment to this city, this will be uh, the symbol of the next Gilded Age of Fitchburg. Uh, and so with that, it is my privi privilege uh, and pleasure to introduce uh, a good friend and really a driving force in this city uh, for economic development, for education, and for economic prosperity, Rich Lapidus with Fitchburg State University. Thank you. Thank you for all joining us today. Uh, it's a great day. Or Really excited to be here. Uh, in fact, I would suggest we do it once a week. <laughs> Guys? Yeah, <we're> in. <laughs> uh, in any case, uh, th th thank you all for coming. We're, we're, we're really excited about this. Uh, the theater is a priority project for the university. We, we pride ourselves uh, in, in being progressive. We are a, a campus with uh, out of true theater, uh, students, faculty, uh, the community have asked us to, to help to, to be part of the, the arts economy and uh, we are excited about this project. Um, we're also excited uh, certainly uh, about the relationships that we have with the, with the folks behind us. Uh, Congresswoman Trahan was I think one of the very first people through my door even before being elected, which I think speaks a lot about her interest and her support of, of public higher ed. Similar, uh, Senator Cronin, the same. Uh, Michael actually, when I arrived, worked at, at Fitchburg State uh, and is an alum, the mayor, uh, also an alum, so we're excited about that. See, it's, a, it's an important degree. Uh, so 
Uh, we, we, we thank all of them for their participation. The city is, is, is a wonderful host for uh, the university. We have a great relationship. Uh, from the beginning, we've bought into uh, the, the reality of uh, creative and arts economy. Uh, we want to be downtown. We want to help the city grow and thrive. Uh, it's a fantastic city, and I, and I think we're, we're moving in the right direction. So, again, thank you all for, for joining us today, and I look forward for future announcements as we continue to move towards uh, the second or third phase of, of this project. Uh, so let me turn it back over to uh, Senator Cronin. Right. And that concludes today's program. Again, I want to thank everybody for coming today, and stay posted. Uh, you are all invited back to a ribbon cutting at some date in the future. I know we're all really looking forward to that. So thank you.